What does the next month have in store for you? We're going to find out in this tarot slash astrological reading. What is up, alien army? I am, I am Oculus, Oculus, the alien, the alien next, next door, door. Purveyor, purveyor of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And today our esoteric topic, we are going to be doing another pick a card reading. And instead of picking cards, we are going to be picking different gemstone um, shapes, okay? So the general concept of this reading is going to be good for the next 30 days from whenever you view this reading as tarot readings are timeless from the moment you watch them. And we're going to be doing this basically on what type of astrological energy is going to be influencing you this upcoming month and you know some other stuff like love, career, whatever is coming up for you, okay? so. What we're gonna do first is, uh, I know my little stones here are kind of hidden in my little wave display, but uh, I'll show you them. This is amethyst, okay? This is an amethyst heart. This is a clear quartz pyramid. And this is an orange calcite icosahedron, okay? So, this is group one, group two, group three, and timestamps will be listed below. I will see you in your reading. What is up group number one? Those of you that chose this amethyst heart, here we're going to get into your reading, so let's find out what is the main focus of energy that is going to be prevalent in your experience these upcoming next 30 days. So, oh, Taurus, okay, and as I'm filming this, coincidentally or not, we happen to be in Taurus season, so that is very, very interesting. All right, so we're going to save these oracles for a bit later. Right now, we're going to get a look into your tarot. So first we have, no, the, okay, yeah. So I guess this one is reversed. This is the sun in reverse. I would just like to make sure that, um, these. I just like to make sure that the whole pile isn't like upside down, so that's why I like to double check, but no. The sun was in reverse, and then we have this one, which is, who is this? The Page of Pentacles. Then we have Temperance. The High Priestess, wow, a lot of majors here. So a lot of you guys might be um, gonna be experiencing some major things going on here. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, so yeah, with the Sun Reverse and the Ten of Swords, what I'm really seeing here is that, um, you know, plus you chose the heart that is an amethyst so i'm feeling like you guys are kind of seeking a sense of like emotional healing from something okay um the ten of swords literally means like you're over it you're kind of done with whatever thoughts it's like okay yeah uh-huh like you you just kind of allowed them to um they kind of ran amok your thoughts about the situation okay your intellectual energy around the situation you just kind of gave up you're like okay it's in a higher power right now right like it's, it's in god's hands so to speak okay so what i see here is that you might have uh recently like had like 
the rug pulled out from under you, all right, with this Taurus energy coming through, I'm thinking it's something uh, having to do with stability, okay, um, uh, you know, you might have um, your job might be on sort of like a hiatus right now, okay, you might be looking to branch out into a new endeavor and you might feel like, you know, this whole situation, I feel like it's more for you guys, it might be like, you know, um, a kind of your sense of well-being needs emotional healing. Like I feel like right now you feel like you're very security, your, um, your physical space might kind of be in jeopardy or at least that's the way that you're feeling okay with this sun reverse it's like that's kind of all you're thinking about you're not really looking at what's uh you know going right in your experience right now you're sort of looking at everything that's gone wrong but within the next 30 days we have this ten of swords here so that is coming to an end all of this uh fretful energy all of this uh, nonsense mind chatter that's going on regarding the situation of your stability that's coming to an end in 30 days okay plus we have temperance right in the middle there temperance is surrounded by the high priestess and the page of pentacles so this is telling me that you're like shifting into a new way of being intuitively guided to the right place in the right way at the right time okay and with this Taurus energy coming up all right um, I see that it's more having to do with your, uh, maybe your finances or something along those lines. I'm not really picking up a strong love type of energy, even though you guys did choose the heart, okay? I'm not saying that love isn't coming, but you know, we're, that's where we're pulling some oracle cards in a bit, just to get a little more clarity. But right now I see with this page of pentacles, it's like if you look at this fellow here they're sort of staring at the pentacle right they're like wondering about it so i feel like you guys right now with this taurus energy you're like your emotional fulfillment is really lying on your material realm sustenance right now um i feel like again like maybe the rug was swept out from under you and you're just not sure like how how are you gonna get by or like maybe your living situation has changed or now you might be um financially um having someone else dependent on you who wasn't before okay or vice versa it can go any which way but I'm really sensing it has something to do with your finance and your material realm sustenance here. And what this is showing me that in this month, you're going to have a breakthrough. There's going to be some sort of like intuitive guidance that's going to guide you into a direction and be like, you know what? Come over here for a second. Like I see you wallowing in this, all of this toxic energy, but you know what? Just take a break. Come over here for a second, right? It's sort of like that high priestess energy that they're not really showing you, um, what they're they're giving to you what they're bestowing upon you what you're sort of guiding the way sort of like um you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink okay like i feel like this is what your intuition is going to be doing for you in the upcoming 30 days plus you chose the amethyst which is a crown chakra energetic crystal which means that you are going to be illuminated to a solution to this and this is why i feel like you know you're just going to give up your like maybe right now it doesn't feel like it but within the next 30 days you're going to just come to a realization like you know what it's not in my hands anymore like i'm doing the best i can i'm here now like let me just enjoy where i'm at instead of trying to be somewhere else okay um and i do see that your finances are going to improve but they might not improve in a way that you had planned or mapped out they might improve in like some sort of uh clandestine type of way like you might receive an unexpected check in the mail you might go to play some lotto numbers and you might win i feel it's not going to be in in a traditional sense but it is going to keep you covered um for for a little bit okay just so you can like when you figure out your job situation when you figure out your living situation then that will be the time that you know the the money coming in now is no longer needed because you're al already going to have more funds coming in but i feel it's going to be more like you're going to be guided to this or it's going to come out of the blue or out of nowhere like um you might 
I don't know, be chatting online with someone and they might say, hey, you know, like I didn't know you were out of a job, like there's a job opening, um, you know, in, and I think that's true because now my my light is making funny noises. Whenever my light makes funny noises, I'm like, oh, some truth coming out. So someone might hit you up unexpectedly online, um, an old colleague, an old friend, someone, they might say that there's a job opening here or there or something along those lines. And you're just kind of like, wait, what? Like, should I go for this? And the answer is yes, but follow your intuition, okay? So um, intuition coming in very strong here on uh, this this next month that's going to guide you towards this um, material realm uh, security and stability that you are looking for. Now let's take a look at your oracle cards here. So we have the underworld. Uh, that is interesting. What does this say? This says, we're all where all things pause and begin again. Wow. Okay. So yeah, that kind of makes perfect sense with what I was saying. Like with this temperance card here, it's sort of like you're at the perfect place to realize another dream than something else that you might have had in mind before. This might be a new dream coming in, a new potential opportunity for something but you just don't see it yet like i'm feeling strong ties with this underworld and this high priestess because it's like right there it's here now okay but you're just not seeing it because you're you're so focused on like the have nots instead of the haves okay but trust that in the next 30 days you are going to be illuminated to this beneficial change and for your love this is what we have. What does this say? This says, listen with your heart. Again, more intuition. Look at this. Thank you, universe. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay, so um, again, I'm not really sensing a strong emotional like relationship with someone else. I'm sensing with this card here, it's more of you're not listening to your heart. You're listening to your mind. And by the end of this 30 days with this Ten of Swords here, you're just going to finally be like, okay, let me surrender to my heart and just you know the mind whatever you ran a mock okay cool like do what you have to do like it, it's in a higher um control now okay that's really what i'm sensing for you guys that like the answer is right here it's right here right now but you're just not in like the mental space to see it because you are in the mental space you're not in the heart center and turn on your love light okay so more stuff having to do with love this deck isn't particularly regarding love but as i said we're going to speak about love in a minute uh, when i was you know pulling the oracles so i mean again like i'm sensing mostly career finance living situation sustenance something like that but because we do have the heart here and taurus is represented by venus it also could be love okay um turn on your love light i feel like um a few messages are going to come out depending upon your situation so take what resonates and you know leave what doesn't so i really feel like again um you're not uh your heart is not open or it's not open to this person in a way that they can see it i feel like whoever you're involved with doesn't think that you're as serious about them as maybe you are i feel like they're just not like being illuminated to like your feelings to them okay listen with your heart for some of you also if you are in like a relationship situation where you're out of contact with a specific person i feel like you know plus we have the high priestess here so i do feel like they are going to be sending you telepathic messages okay um so pay close attention to that also if they show up in your dreams they might have a message for you there and also for some of you turn on your love light this can literally mean like um people just don't know that you're interested people don't know that you're out there so if you want to start putting yourself out there if you are looking for a new relationship then now is the time to do it because as i'm filming this we are in taurus season you guys have the Taurus energy strong here. So this is stable, committed love and romance. This is Venus energy. Um, you know, so I'm sensing any new connections that you might form during this time or any rekindlings that you might have with someone currently in your experience. Uh, it 
has the potential to go the distance and to become more stable and secure than you might realize okay so this is what i got for you guys group number one i am oculus the alien next door we will chit chat again soon peace good vibes and nam stay blessed because you are what is up group number two those of you that chose this clear quartz pyramid we're gonna find out what astrological energy is influencing you strongly these next 30 days we're gonna save some oracle cards for later pull your tarot and wow look at this we have the south node okay all right starting in deep already okay cool so let's see what uh your tarot cards say we have four of cups five of wands eight of cups two of swords and the empress okay so we're ending on a really positive note here with the empress let me just arrange these so that they're a little more in the frame okay okay so yeah with this south node i'm definitely sensing that there's some emotional baggage that needs to be released i mean we have essentially like the eight of cups here which is sort of walking away from emotional stagnation and unfulfillment we have the four of cups which is sort of like not seeing fully what what um great happiness and joy they have in front of them all right, we, we also had the five of wands and the two of swords. So there might be a lot of like confusion going on. I feel like you guys are coming out of like, um, sort of like a tricky spot, like sort of like, you know, there might be, I, I'm sensing a lot of like pettiness going on or just uh, like some sort of like he said, she said thing that's going on for you guys right now. That's really been kind of like weighing on you. I definitely sense that if this does involve another person that this person uh was someone like a karmic type of relationship now it might be a romantic relationship it might be a friendship it might be even a family member or someone like that but this is definitely like something karmic that caused a lot of confusion and chaos all right with the south node it's like this is a baggage right now that you have to release all of this you have to walk away from it you have to like you know be that eight of cups you have to say enough with these like these emotions that are just like up and down back and forth it's like they're not serving you okay so you have the choice here with this two of swords you have the choice to step forward into this fruitful abundance of the empress and now as i am filming this interestingly enough the other uh deck got another reference to taurus season but um you know the empress is venus and venus is representative of taurus and as i'm filming this we are in taurus season so whenever you see this um i'm just saying that there is like a strong type of venus taurus empress energy going on with this as well which is why i'm more sensing that this has to do with something like with a relation with someone else that is going to be resolved this month okay so if you are looking for closure i'm sensing that you are going to get it but only when you fully and completely detach from this situation and you walk away okay for some of you this might be walking away from a relationship it might be just being like you know what i've done everything i can like it's time for me to move on that's what i'm definitely sensing here um i also see that that if this is a relationship like someone didn't appreciate you there might have been a lot of like fighting and chaos going on a lot of like up and down uh, tumultuous emotions where you didn't really feel like you knew where you stood with them and you were like sort of hanging in the balance for a while like should i stay or should i go like what should i do you know um i do feel like there was like a genuine type of bond between you guys but i'm feeling it was more of like um 
a physical attraction, okay? Um, you know, you guys might have cared for each other a lot, but I'm sensing with this south node type of thing, also this person might have um, a prominent personal planet that uh, is in the same sign as your south node. So I would definitely look into that for those of you who are resonating, right? Because I really feel like this person's karmic person in your experience, it, it, it's run its course, you know? Um, there's nowhere else for it to go. It's like we have all this entanglement across the board and I see once you make the decision, do, 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 decision to step forward and release them for good, then you clear the south node karma, okay? You clear this karma. Also check to see what sign your south node is in because this is going to give you more of an example of what type of karmic relationship that um, is going on for you right now with this. I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sensing too much else other than karmic relationship with another individual that was very chaotic, okay? So again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, but... Um, you know a lot of karmic relationships they typically do involve lovers okay they also involve like close family members and things like that um but i see once you make the decision to finally let go and release this person for good then that's basically when you know that that karmic um illusion is going to be dismantled it's going to dissolve okay and you're going to be able to like walk forward into this you know i mean we see her here she's like chilling she's laid out she's relaxed and ain't nothing phasing her right so that's what you're going to be i mean she's oh my goodness she's not wearing drawers look at that she ain't even wearing drawers that's how comfortable and relaxed she is okay um or maybe no i don't think she is no mm -mm, no draws there uh, so that's how basically you're gonna be after this karmic situation is done right you're just like you know what like enough of this i've had enough like just make the decision to walk away um i don't feel like this person really appreciated you i do sense that you are going to get some sort of closure from them but it is not going to be until you fully and completely remove yourself emotionally from that situation then you're gonna get the answers that you were seeking this whole time okay so i definitely see that coming i see like within the next 30 days like you're gonna have kind of like a total 180 where it's like right now you might like you might be conflicted you might be chaotic but you're gonna realize like walking away from this person was like one of the best decisions that you've ever made uh, number one, because, you know, your mental health and your emotional health and all that, maybe even your physical health and things like that, or um, being, you know, uh, kind of worn down because of this situation, but you also, from walking away with them, you are going to receive the answer that you want. The second you detach from it, boom, that's when the answer is going to come. So let's see what's going on with your oracle cards here. We have skeleton strength. Look at that. Yes, you do have the strength to overcome this situation with this person, to walk away. Physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. This is what we have going on here for this uh, love card. All right. Um, so I do see someone else coming in who is going to offer you what that other person didn't so that's interesting and then we have most people are just trying to survive so with this coming out i feel like this person that you did have that karmic type of tie to that like they didn't realize that it was a karmic situation and perhaps you did right but they didn't realize that because they're just trying to get by like they're not like it's it's like they're you might be an old soul and they might be like a younger soul where they're just not aware of any of the type of stuff like karma and things like that that you are i feel like even if you did try to bring up something like that in a conversation with them they sort of like blew you off or they laughed or something like that right but i also feel like this person you know physical touch here i do feel like they if you are not in contact with them they do miss you a little bit but again with that empress energy she ain't wearing draws remember that no draws empress and physical touch i think they do miss you but they miss the physical aspect of that relationship if you know what i mean okay and then skeleton this is saying like yes you do have the strength to 
um, elevate yourself from whatever karmic tie this is okay um, if it's a family member if it's like a friend or something like that again I feel like they, they miss something physical about you maybe they miss like um, if they were like a narcissist and you were the empath or they were like an energetic vampire and like you know they were sort of draining you you were their food I feel like that's what they miss something physical that you were doing for them or maybe even just the time that you invested into them maybe now they don't have anyone else to talk to but I'm sensing like if they do miss you it's more of like something um, like lower chakra based not really upper chakra based okay not really spiritual even though you guys are spiritually connected because this is karmic they have no idea and um, you know you do have the strength to walk away from this person and to be chilling half naked you know sipping a martini or whatever it is that you care to do right so you have the strength to get over this i do also see just with the symbolism on these cards that a new offer is going to be presented to you as well like um you know like by by you know this is a 30-day reading so i'm gonna say like by the end of 30 days or maybe 31 days in some cases right but a new offer is going to be extended to you in like a romantic type of sense okay so um, yeah, very, very interesting for you guys here with that south node, all right? So that's what I got for you guys, group number two. Oh, I also want to touch on you guys chose the uh, clear quartz pyramid, okay? So clear quartz is like an all-around energetic healer. This sort of works to like release negative energy and to just bestow a positive mindset. So I feel like you guys choosing the pyramid also, this is... Um, you know, you're sort of like at the apex of your power right now once you walk away from this person, right? Because the pyramid is pointed and it's like pointing upward. So this is you directing your power upward. This is you not kicking around in the sand with this person who you were like petty arguing with, right? This is you elevating your own game and releasing the karma uh, that, you know, that happened to come in the shape and form of this individual, okay? So gathering power definitely you guys this month all right i'm oculus the alien next door we will chit chat again soon peace good vibes and nam stay blessed because you are what's up group number three those of you that chose this orange calcite icosahedron we are gonna find out what's going on for you in the next 30 days we're gonna do some tarot and then we're going to do some oracle cards later just to give a little more uh, information about your situation so the astrological energy that's going to be prevalent for you in the next 30 days is gemini oh this is so wow universe thank you thank you thank you this is how i know that like universe is, is just so amazing because as I'm filming this, this is a timeless reading as I do say, but as I'm filming this, we are in um, Taurus season and within 30 days, we are going to be transitioning into Gemini. So there we go. And then all of the, the piles that I picked today had like Taurus influence. Now we have the Gemini influence. So this is just really solidifying like, wow. Thank you, universe. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your tarot. We have the magician. Ooh, Mercury and the Gemini card. Interesting. Oh, let's get this to where you can see it. Okay. Two of Cups. Ooh la la. Oh, and another. Look at this heart. Three of Swords. Interesting. Okay, the tower, and the knight of pentacles. Okay, so let me get these guys a little more situated here. Okay, so let's see, Gemini energy. The Magician, Two of Cups, Three of Swords, The Tower, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so um, I, I, I think that for you guys, this might center around like a situationship, okay? I'm not saying 
that it, it wasn't a relationship. It might very well have been for some of you. You know, this is a general reading, but I'm picking out more of like situationship. Okay, we have the two instances of Mercury here. We have the Tower. We have the Three of Swords. We have Two of Cups. All right, so I'm really sensing that it was someone that you... It, it, or it was like a newer situation, like a newer person. It wasn't someone that you really had a lot, a lot of history with. I feel like you might have been hoodwinked, okay? I don't know where that word came from, but yeah, hoodwinked, okay, um, by this person. Um, I feel like there was someone that, that, that came along that was sort of like a smooth talker, or there's someone in your life right now that's sort of a smooth talker, but all they're, they're selling is empty promises, okay? Um, I feel like they're, they're trying to like fulfill what it is that they think your fantasy is in regards to them. And I feel like you're kind of like almost calling their bluff, okay? I like this, this is a really strong message that I'm getting. This is really powerful. I really feel like uh, this person's house of cards is about to fall, okay? Um, you know, again, it might be a situationship. That's the number one thing I'm picking up. It could be a relationship or it could be someone else. It might be like a business partner, like a friend, someone. I don't know, like this person, they were just like, they were trying to be slick. They were trying to be smooth. They were trying to sweet talk you. And it's sort of, it's like, if it hasn't already, it's going to be found out. Okay. So your gut instinct about whoever it is that's coming to mind right now that you think might be, um, maybe gaslighting you or manipulating you in some way, you are correct. Okay. Um, I'm sensing that this is like something, it might be sort of like a power struggle. They might be competitive with you. Okay. Um, I, I just, I, I'm not seeing a, whoever this person is. I'm not seeing a clear motive of good intentions. Okay. That's like the kindest way I can put it here. Okay. Um, I feel like they're very slick. They're very suave. They're very smooth. Um, but you are finding out like you're you're finding out like what this person is truly about and it's like if it was a situation ship okay or if it's someone that you just met and you just started quote unquote talking to them I really feel like that they are not someone who um, has earned your trust fully and rightfully so okay um, I really feel like that if you were to um, you know, make an effort with this person if you were to trust them that it, it just wouldn't, it, it would, it would like kind of like vanish like a fart in the wind, okay? Like that, that's really what I'm sensing. I'm sensing that this person is sort of like hit it, quit it, forget you ever did it, something like that. Like I, I don't know why I'm getting serious player vibes right now. Like I, I like, I like can see them. They're like side eyeing. Like it's just very, very strange. Okay. Um, so yeah, whoever this person is. And again, if this is not like in a romantic context, this person is a smooth talker. They're trying to get whatever it is they want out of you. Uh, I feel like they're a really good charmer and manipulator. They talk a good game, but when it comes to like actually delivering the package it's like lost in transit do you know what i'm saying like i really don't sense a pure innocent intention of this person okay so this is sort of like um i again you know general reading it might have already happened and you might have just found out the truth about them but i'm sensing if there is someone that you're kind of dubious about right now you you do have a reason for concern regarding this person okay um so this is sort of like what the universe is like signaling to you like listen you know don't take anything that this person says at face value conduct your own research um you know there is some sort of manipulation or mind game going on on their part and you know i feel like you can sniff it out a little bit but you're still like, oh, should I give them the benefit of a doubt? Whoever this person is, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, I, mm, 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 mm. like, it's very rare that I even pick up an energy like this when I'm reading cards. But this person is not sincere, okay? And you would know who that person is more than I would. But the highlight is that 
once this person's house of cards tumbles, what's going to happen is now we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is moving forward into a safer haven, a greener pasture. Okay, this is someone who is relaxed. Um, you know, they have the material realm sustenance um, backing them up like they're secure. Okay, so if this is in a relationship context, I see you uh, moving on from this, you know, um, in in a good direction. Like, you're, you'll be content moving on from this situation. You're like, oh man, like, like thank you, <laughs> intuition for, you know, kind of like, allowing me to dodge a bullet there. That's kind of what I'm sensing. If this is like in the context of like a business partnership or a friendship, the same thing, sort of like, wow, like your eyes are gonna be opened, like that lightning bolt of intuition is gonna come in and it's just gonna be like, you're gonna be guided, like, like, look, do you see? Do you see what this person is about? And you're like, whoa, like, and I feel like it's it's gonna be another thing that, that I'm coming to mind is like a near miss, like, whew, that was a close call. Like you, you were almost, almost gaslighted and it, boop, like the universe just showed you something or you were almost manipulated or there was something like a near miss. Okay. But I feel like it was like a close call and it was beneficial that, you know, you did, um, find out what they were up to sooner rather than later so that you can move on into these, you know, these greener pastures, like coming up, you know, towards the end of these next coming 30 days. So your oracles are skull of darkness, blind spots. Look at this. And it's a skull being illuminated by candle. Thank you, universe. Look at this. Blind spots. Yeah. So you have a lot of blind spots regarding this person. I feel like maybe oh, many people do if this is like a situation where it's sort of like a career or a mutual friend or a family member. I feel like a lot of people have blind spots, but it's going to be illuminated in the next 30 days what this person is really about. Uh, your love oracle says the heart of the matter. Okay. And this says there is more going on than meets the eye. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. I always, you see, I love it when the cards do this. I always say thank you, universe. Look at this. Boom. Solidification of what I just said, okay? There is more going on than meets the eye. Hello. All right. So, yeah, um, this person, there is nothing face value that is really tangible in physical reality it's like it's like face value okay but what's going on beneath the surface like i really feel like the jig is up for them okay and let's see what your final oracle says there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval okay so again um i'm sensing that this person you know like i mean if you want to figure out a little bit of their backstory that kind of just answered it like they're seeking approval like and they and, and don't take it personally they're not doing this to just you they've done this before they're doing it to probably a few other people right now especially if it's like a mutual friend or a mutual relative that you guys all have in common or a co-worker or something like you are not the first that they're acting this way towards okay they're just seeking approval because they're very very insecure and they're making up for it by all of these smoke and mirrors like showing like who they're portraying themselves to be who they wish they were you know but they're really not okay and this is just because they're very very insecure so if you're wondering the bottom like the root of the matter here is they are craving approval from you from a lot of people because they are just they're not in a good space they're insecure they probably don't even realize that they're insecure because they're so ego based right now and the fact that you chose this orange stone okay the icosahedron um i do want to give a shout out to archangel metatron i feel like he might have some messages for you um you would know what that means more than i would okay um also the orange calcite this is like um physical stamina and vitality again a lot of like um solar plexus and sacral chakra energy okay so um, you know, that, that is like, uh, energy that's more ego based rather than sort of like intuitive based. So again, I feel like this person has, um, like they're, they're just, um, 
they're in so many different directions that they, they don't realize that they are fragmented and they're trying to fragment others because they, you know, that, that saying misery loves company, okay? They're just really insecure and they, I feel like they take pride in like having others be insecure um, around them or trying to make others insecure around them because they're in those, like their sacral chakra and their solar plexus chakra is just like, out of out of whack out of alignment okay that's where that's where they don't have a lot of self-esteem all right so uh that was what i got for you guys group number three uh beware this person okay their house of cards is about to fall and intuitively you were right if you had some uneasy vibes about them you were right and it's all going to be illuminated to you within the next 30 days or 31 however you want to look at it all right I am Oculus, the alien next door. We will chit chat again soon. Peace, good vibes, and namaste blessed because you are.